take this moment to go into Dreve Weaving and the sacred mm -hmm. economy. And was it when, um, when 2000 hit for you, was that when you started getting mm -hmm. involved in, okay. So tell, yeah, tell a little like, bit about your experience. What's interesting is that I remember hearing about it back in the early 2000s that was Whoa. happening here in LA. Okay. And I almost became a part of one and then I don't know what happened. Um, and then it just kind of like went away. And then during 2020, that's when they just like came online fully and they were everywhere. And like all these different ones that you can, you know, be a part of and digital ones and not digital ones and here and there and, um, different, you know, monetary values and, um, and the concept of it. So the concept of everyone pooling the, the money, like, bought, like, bringing money and gifting the person in the center. And then the whole concept of it is like, I, I completely, from the moment it started, I said, yes, I understand this. It's such a higher of like a, a fifth dimensional way of thinking. Fifth dimensional being we live in the third dimension. The fifth is like where we're going in just like more of an un conditional loving space and and where we're really taking care of each other mm -hmm. where we're not in this polarity uh every man for themselves you know self-service way of living that we're going back to community taking care of each other and and just knowing the flow and the energy and working within that that if i give over here it's going to be come back to me over here like that's where we're going um so to me it really made sense what's an interesting space about it and it's actually kind of phenomenal is and we were talking about this right before briefly before we came on here is it really shows where the collective level of consciousness is though because when they mm -hmm. don't work because they should work and they will work and they can work and they're not a pyramid scheme and they're not all this weird stuff that people make up that they've that and that's all all of that stuff is brainwash stuff anyway that's all programming because they don't want you to get this it's the same with uh, network marketing uh, direct sales whatever you want to call it to me i've been a part of them um understood it right away this makes total sense mm -hmm. but everyone's like it's a pyramid no if you really understand how this stuff works yes people can be annoying i get that <laughs> yes some companies their structures are set up not the best i get that but in the grand scheme of things this makes so much more sense. And half the time, the products that are out there are so much better for you than the stuff you're going to buy in your brick and mortar. So mm -hmm. it makes complete sense. But the programming, it's where the programming comes in. So when they don't work or people can't really understand it, and it's not to any fault of their own, it's just where they're at in their level of programming. It's where they're at in their level of consciousness. So if they can't understand it and they think it's a pyramid or they, or when the things get stuck or they won't move or, you know, people aren't whatever, it's only, it starts showing where there's their lack, where is their, um, where are they in that, that, that flow of abundance of, um, of their consciousness of seeing it from this, this fifth dimensional per unconditional love perspective that that they're just, it's just showing you where your level of programming is. So uh, once you start undoing your programming and you see where like they've put in your head, like you need to act this way, think like this, your money should only come from this. There's no possible way that community could come together and and lift each other up, you know, whatever it is. It, it, it just became so apparent. So I would have some that would just move so gracefully. And then I would have others that were just like, people dropping out, people getting angry at each other, just this whole thing happening. And it's like, okay, well, the only thing that this is, is it's just where this, where this consciousness is, where this group consciousness is, this group consciousness is, is in lack. It's a lack mentality. It's a fear-based mentality around money. They still have things to work out within themselves about money. Well, if I'm in this group, then where is that in me that I'm still part of? you know, that I'm even resonating that I'd be a part of a group that it's not working out. So now I have more work to do. Wonderfully put. So the only way they don't work out is when people haven't done the work yet. If they're in an abundant mindset and they've reached that place, it will always work. And the people coming in will always make it work. 
So I, because when I first heard the word sacred economy and knowing about this 3D world transitioning into 5D, that's all I had to hear. So right off the bat, my gut said, yes, I don't really, uh, the, the details don't really matter to me. I just feel that this is where I'm drawn just to, to experience it. And mm -hmm. Sarah, you're right. Um, very accurate when it's flowing and everybody is in that because I'm in, in two looms right now and one is just moving beautifully. And the other one is having some, um, hiccups, let's put it that way. Yet I really enjoy what you're saying too, because they are both presenting kind of the opposite to me. So mm -hmm. how do I find my place within both? Cause it's kind of like, it, it's just, um, it, it's a little painful mm -hmm. and it's great all at the same time. And I, I and Everybody also talks about this as a very underground movement. So don't talk about it too much. Keep it under wraps. Um, yet I, I feel it's important to unearth it just a little bit, not to have to go into all the details about it. Mm -hmm. Do you, is there anything else you would like to say on it? Because I, I felt that that was really great, but maybe there's more. Um, I don't, yeah, I think it's going to like, they'll say as we continue to heal and heal these dark aspects and especially this financial money, like as things are getting more and more expensive and whatever yeah. people are saying, I don't listen to it. I'm like, okay, whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah, it is. But I, I just can't subscribe and hang mm -hmm. on to that. Mm -hmm. I, I really do believe like, as it, it makes no sense that it's getting more expensive. Cause I'm like, let's look at that. Like nothing happened. <laughs> they just make it up and then it does. You know what I mean? It's like exactly. if a big, huge flood came and wiped out half the earth, I would get why my <laughs> banana is more expensive. Right. I, I really would understand that, but nothing happened. <laughs> so <funny>. Literally <laughs> nothing happened. Yes. Right. So I really believe like, and I, I really try to practice this and does it work every time? No, but it will. And it yes. does is that I, I don't subscribe to those stories because I believe that I will just elevate while it elevates. So if it goes up here, I'm going to go up here. Well, like, you know, people say like, oh, LA is such a, uh, you know, expensive city. Yes, but you also make more money here. Mm -hmm. So it's the same. I lived back in Minneapolis for almost five years um, at the end, during the recession, basically, at the end of uh, 20, 2007 to uh, 2012. Okay. And the cost of living, yes, was so much less there, but I didn't make as much money as I do here. Mm -hmm. So it was the same. So as it goes, you can go. As it goes, you, you know what I mean? Like why, if you're going to be in lack mentality, scarcity consciousness, oh no, it's da 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 I can't possibly, okay, open up your consciousness, open up your vessels, open up your channel, allow abundance to come in in different ways. Even if you have a corporate job, it's a little bit harder when you're stuck in the salary and you're stuck in that box and they take up all your time, but open your <laughs> mind that there's possibility that an opportunity could come to you at any moment of any day and you could channel other abundance from that. Right. Right. Yes. I didn't, I've only been doing this Facebook gig for a year and I didn't know it was a thing. I didn't know it, it just came on my path and my friends are like, da, da, da. And I was like, okay. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> Cause you, sure. at one show you talked about having multiple revenue streams. Mm -hmm. Well, wow. so that's got to be so because you're not reliant on one thing. And I love doing multiple things too. Mm -hmm. like every week I check in on myself. Am I going to do am I going to keep doing with this podcast? And every time I says, Yeah, so I'm like, Okay, and not that this is a revenue revenue mm -hmm. bringer, but it is an abundance bringer, like getting to meet you all the connections mm -hmm. that I'm getting and all the healings that I'm getting. It's just been so neat. 